Wow, this is a machine shop that absolutely loves Herco. We're going to find out why today. Now, Mike, um, before we talk about this beautiful new machine you've just, you've just invested in, um, Vile Industrial Services, you're a fascinating company. You do lots of different things. What are they? We are predominantly a small batch work business uh, that produce precise complex components for a variety of industry sectors. That's fascinating. You do a huge amount of things, but the most important thing for you here is the machine shop. Yes, correct. Okay, what kind of components are you making? What kind of volumes? So components range uh, from quantities in terms of one off to 50 off. Um, different varieties of materials, ferrous and non-ferrous, majority uh, engineering steels. Yeah, absolutely. Engineering steels. Tough materials? Correct, tough materials, yeah. And you're clearly a machine shop that likes Herco. We certainly are, yeah. We find that the machines are uh, excellent quality. Uh, they're adaptable, flexible. Uh, they do everything that we need them to do. Yeah, so as a company that likes standardization, you've got mostly VM30s. Correct. We're here in front of a, a, one of the newer machines in the range. Correct. A VM10i. Yeah. That's why did you go for this slightly smaller machine? It was purely down to footprints. Um, you know, as you can see, we are fully stacked out with Herco's. Um, we wanted one more to fit in the uh, the only space we had left, and the VM10, uh, you know, fit the the business model. Uh, it, we still maintained the uh, same features as we do on the the VM30s, albeit just in a smaller footprint. So, for example, we've got the 24 tool uh, turret changer. We've got the through call and spindle. We've got the dual screens, you know, everything that we want from a machine. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk about the screens in just a second. And what, what, let's talk about the jobs you're actually doing right now. Is This is a 50 off, right? Yeah. And, and and this 50 off, you'll be using the machine all day. How do you know you can rely on the machine to make a good part? Not only the first time, actually after eight hours of runtime, it warms up. Yeah, correct. So this is a, a 50 off, as you said, EN24T. Um, we have, on this particular machine, we've got the through call and spindle, but we've also got that spindle chiller as well. Yeah, and how does that mean you can control the, the tolerances on, on not just the first part, but the 50th part? Yeah, it just means that we can run longer, harder materials, and predominantly quicker with the right tooling. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And and because you guys are doing lots of low volume stuff, you running the machine, um, there's a lot more human interaction, a lot more changeover, a lot more programming on the machine as well. How does the Herco make that easy? Yeah, correct. These machines are so flexible and adaptable. Uh, the programming alone is, uh, you know, really user friendly, really easy. And with the dual screens, which I said we'll talk about in a moment, you know, they're so user friendly, we can have dual screens up. And, and what does it mean for to have the dual screens for the, for the operators? So with the dual screens, it enables us to have the parameters on one page and the tool paths on the second page, whereas predominantly on the, on the single screen, you can only choose one or the other. It allows us to program manually, but then have the program running with the tool paths that are visual to the operator. Absolutely. And the, the, what does that mean for um, making components every day for quite demanding customers? Yeah, so um, programming manually allows us to to reduce lead times in terms of inputting strains to the machine, getting onto a machine that's available, getting onto a machine that's got a space for an hour, two hours to be able to push those parts through quicker, you know, to meet an ever-demanding customer.